it's time to get our looms ready for our weaving project. We are using some recycled cardboard and I am going to use this ruler to measure where I'm gonna cut to keep it nice and even. You don't absolutely have to measure, but it will give you a neater loom with even warp strings. And so I'm just putting this ruler so the centimeter side, that's the shorter measurements, are over here. And I'm just putting it right on the end of my cardboard. So for each little centimeter mark, that would be the, the longer lines over here, right next to the number, I'm gonna put a mark. And so I'm gonna do this with a Sharpie. You can use a pencil if you want, but I want you to be able to see this. I'm gonna stop there. I don't wanna to cut too close to my edge. I'm just gonna flip this around now and do the other side. And so, let's see. All right, and so now I just have to cut these notches. Grab my scissors and do my cutting. The next step to create my loom is to add my warp strings. So, we have yarn in baggies. We're not gonna take it out of the baggie. It's just gonna stay in here. That's gonna keep it neat. And you're gonna let, let it come out of the baggie as you warp. So, what we're gonna do, I'm gonna put this, let it hang on the back a little bit. And I am going to just pull this through the notch and I'm just bringing this around. I'm going to do this as far across as I want. You probably want to go at least around like six times, but you don't necessarily have to go all the way across if you want your weaving to not be as wide. That doesn't mean we need to cut the cardboard. I'm going to stop right here. I'm going to cut this, leaving this in the bag and just putting that aside. And now I have to tie these pieces together. So think about if you're tying your shoe, when we cross this yarn over and this piece is going to wrap around, we're going to do that. Whoops, here we go. Wrap that around. I'm going to pull it tight. And I'm going to do that one more time. So crossing over this piece of yarn and then this piece is going to go back through. Just that like that first part of shoe tying, only you do it twice. There's your knot. If it's you've got a long piece, you can trim it a little. Now it's time to actually start weaving. So I have a piece of colored yarn here. This is a little bit shorter than what you'll want to use, but just so you can see how to do this. And so I have to thread my needle. So I have to put this through the eye of the needle. You can see that's kind of hard to do like this. What I usually do is make a little loop like this. If you can see that. And then it's a lot easier to push through. Just pull this out. And then I usually tie that little half knot again. I'm gonna let that hang and show you. So I'm crossing this over, and then this end has to come back through the loop. So this pushes back in, and then that's that half knot. There you go. And so I'm not gonna double knot it. If it keeps falling off, you can, but this way I can actually untie it. So here's how we get started with our weaving. So we gotta remember our over, under, over, under, or under, over, under, over. So I'm just gonna start under. It really doesn't matter the first one you go. And so you can see I'm just kind of going through this. Now you might have to use your fingers to help lift the warp threads. And that's totally fine to do. So I'm going to keep an eye on this end here so it doesn't just pull right through. Let it hang out a little bit. And I usually just tuck it into one of my notches the first time so it doesn't fall out. And I'm going to put the, push this up to the top. Now I've got to go back. So this came out over top. 
that means my needle goes back under. So under, over, under, over, under, over. And now is the part where I'm going to need my hands a little bit. So there we go. And then I'm going to pull this through. And I'm going to slide this up together. I want it tight up and down. But I do not want to pull these in really tight. I want to try to keep that even. All right, so let's keep going. So it came out over, now it's going to go under, over, under, over, under, over. Under, over, under, over. And again, pull that through, push it up tight. All right, I'm going to show you what happens if I don't go back the right way. And by the right way, I mean this came out over, I need to go under. If I go back over again, let's see what's going to happen. And it's not a big deal because you can just reweave it, but watch what's going to happen. It's just going to pull that one out. So we want to try to make sure that that doesn't happen. So let me finish up this string and then I'll show you how to add a nut new string. Now my yarn is too short for me to really weave this with the needle back through. So I'm going to take my needle off. And so my knot, I was able to untie pretty easy. If you can't untie it, you can cut it. And now I'm going to finger weave this back through. So it came out over. So I'm just going to go back by hand until I run out of yarn. Okay, so I ran out of yarn and you can see I just let it end right here in the center. I'm going to make this nice and tight together. And now it's just time to do another yarn, piece of yarn. So you can change colors, you can stick with the same color. And so I am going to remind you how we put it on the needle. Make that little loop, push it through the eye of the needle. And then I'm going to tie that half knot. So cross that over and this part goes through the loop, under and through, and pull. All right, this next one, I'm gonna start, let's see, and that got a little tight, let's stretch that out. So I'm gonna come over here and it really doesn't matter how you start the next one if you're doing this method. This is what I call the knot, the no knot tying. We're not gonna tie our, our strings together. And so I'm gonna, I'm not gonna tuck this one back over here. I'm gonna let this kind of come through a little bit just so it hides in there. Push that up nice and tight. And then I'm going to keep weaving just as I was. I have to be careful not to pull too much so this doesn't come out. So this is over, so I go back under. So under, over. it's time to clean up then if you have just a short bit of yarn like I have left here I'm just gonna tuck this in like this and I'm gonna put it away if I had a really long piece then I could wrap it around my weaving I might have to wrap it a few times and then I could tuck my needle in just like this last thing I forgot to mention is make sure your name is on it so you can just write your name anywhere that it shows. Make sure you get the right one back the next day.